It's a ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, you normally have a Hammond organ. Uh, this is uh, a very small version of that. It sounds like a Hammond organ. It sounds beautiful. Yeah, it's a digital. It's a digital pocket version. Yeah. Why they decide to bring you back? How did that all come about? Well, it, uh, back, uh, uh, I think it was in April. They did the turn back the clock. Went back to the 45th anniversary night and uh, brought in a great friend of mine, Brian Granquist, who was the last organist in the dome. Uh, in 94, 95, and uh, rented an old Hammond organ, and it went over so well that uh, I got a call a few days later that said, hey, you want to come back? Well, there's nothing like an, uh, the sound of an organ that says baseball. I, it's just uh, written all over that sound. It's, oh, It's so peppy. Now, you're a church organist as well, are you not? Yes. You ever get confused as to where you are? <laughs> uh, <laughs> The, the preacher thinks so. A little amazing grace at the end of the day and a little take me out of the ball game. It's been known to happen. Really? Yeah. You have to be really on your toes to do what you do because you're responding with what you play to what's going on on the field. That's correct. There, there's, uh, have, to, have to keep an eye on the, on the game and uh, certain things like where we're not allowed to play, major league rules, you're not allowed to play. If the pitcher's got his foot on the rubber and the batter's in the box. Okay, now you got to play while you talk here because I oh. know you do it so well. Do you ever get requests? Uh, y yes, actually. Such as? Just, uh, well, take me out to the ball game, of course. But then I'll get, uh, we'll do things even like YMCA. Go ahead, and, go uh, ahead. let's Pink hear Pink Panther and uh, the yeah. Adams Family, you know. Now I need you to clap. Oh, Lynn has got her clickers I going. I got her clickers going. I think a little Pink Panther too. I love that. Oh yeah. You know when there's a want uh, somebody trying to steal. Oh, that's a good response. Yeah. So wow. just little things that come in and come out. All right. Let's let's play. Let's pretend. All right. Oh, no. Uh, let's have the Stump response the that, <laughs> that's one word for it, one phrase for it. Let's say that we've got a big news story this morning and you are here to uh, give us an organ response to these. Here, here's of, Jaws. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, here's one uh, that you could respond to. Let's pretend that the oil leak has been plugged in the Gulf of Mexico. All right. Very good. Uh, I love it. Here's another one. There's a hurricane coming to Houston. Uh, yeah, that works. And everybody got out of the way just in time. That's that's right. Clog the freeway, so. <laughs> that's, uh, that's awesome. It's so great. What is it about the organ that makes everybody feel so good, get, want to get up and get involved? Uh, well, what I, ref I refer to it as that hokey organ sound that is the ballpark <laughs> organ. You know, it's not a church organ. It's not a, uh, it's, it's not something, it's not a sound that's you hear anywhere else, or you, you hope you don't hear it anywhere else. Well, you know, you started doing this when you were a very young boy playing in churches. You must have had a reputation at some point uh, for the guy who played the, ho the hokey instrument rather than the cool trumpet or the guitar or whatever. Uh, no, I, I played another cool instrument. I played the sousaphone, the tuba. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. So this was nothing. <laughs> Folks, you can catch Jim Connors, Sunday afternoon home games, Minute Maid Park. At the old ball game. One more story for you because we got to find out what's going on on Wall Street, the world of business. Pope Mike Salvatorelli. 